Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to create these vertical bar charts and this time I'm going to do it by fetching the data from an Excel file. So this tutorial is going to be broken into two parts. The first part is going to be focused on um, use, using PHP to um, get the data out of the Excel file and then the second part is going to be actually creating um, the these bar charts. So the first thing we need to do is go over to um, <clears throat> PHP Excel's GitHub. So if you search for PHP Excel GitHub, I'm sure you'll find it. And um, yeah, once you get to their GitHub page, um, you need to click this zip right here. So basically, what this is is some classes that's going to, you know, do the dirty work for us in PHP and make, um, you know, fetching the data off the Excel file much easier for us. So just um, just click here to. Uh, oh, sorry, not there. Click um, click zip to download, um, you know, all of the classes and stuff. And once that's done, you can you can uh, just copy this folder, and then go over to um, you know wherever your um, your web project is stored. Basically, you're just going to paste it into the root directory there. So you can see I, I renamed mine PHP Excel, but just paste it into your web folder there. And um, if we open this up, you'll see it's got a um, bunch of stuff in it. It's got all these classes, and um, it's also got examples if you want to, you know, play with their examples there. So um, yeah, paste that in your um, web folder, and then we can get started. So um, I'll just show you the Excel file we're working with. Um, basically, it's really simple. It's got um, the first row has got the company name. And then it's got 12 rows after that, which is their monthly earnings. And so we can go over to our um, earnings.php here. And what this file is going to do is it's basically, um, it's going to get all the information off here. And it's going to put it into a multi-dimensional array. And then what we're going to do is use the JSON encode function on that um, in order to make a well-formed JSON string. And then we're going to output that. So the first thing we do here is we set the headers. So this isn't going to be, you know, a regular HTML file or text. Um, we want the content type to be application slash JSON. Okay. But before that, these um, two headers right here, what these are doing is um, so that the browsers that request this page um, don't cache the information. So anytime that they, you know, request our earnings.php to get the data um, they'll get a fresh version each time and that you know that information will be um, won't be cached in their browser so after that then content type application slash JSON and um, after that I have some error reporting right here and actually let's look at what the final result is before we um, get into this so if we go here to um, yeah, right here, earnings.php. Just make that a bit bigger. So we have our well-formed JSON string right here. And um, let's jump back to the code. And the next thing we're doing is we are including the um, the classes, the iofactory.php, which uh, you know is inside this PHP Excel file. So just make sure your path is right, and that's being included. The next thing is we're checking if um, the Excel file exists or not. If it doesn't exist, then we're going to, um, you know, output this error. There's no Excel file to read from. But if it finds it, then we can continue on here. And we're using this. Um, I think this is a static method of uh, of this class. But yeah, we're um, we're accessing this function right here. So load, and then earnings.xls. Okay, put your path to your Excel file there. And this is going to return an object to um, this variable right here. And what we want to do is we want to get a certain part of this object, which is um, the active sheet. So in in the earnings.xls, you can see it only has one sheet here. Okay, so basically um, that's what that's doing there, getting the active sheet and then storing it in this object. What we're doing after that is we're defining a constant 
um, months in a year is set to 12. So because this will never change, we should um, make that a constant instead of a variable. After that, I'm creating three empty arrays. And these are going to have Coke's earnings, PG earnings, and so on. And all of these arrays are going to get stored inside company earnings, which is also an array. So you can see that this company earnings is going to be a multi-dimensional array. And so these these um these arrays here could also be accessed like company earnings, sub zero, sub one, and so on. So the next thing we're doing is we need to build up our multi-dimensional array because right now um, it has no data and it's all empty. So the first thing we're doing is we are um, looping three times here. Okay, column is set to zero as long as columns is less than three. We have three companies here, increment by one each time, and then we're nesting another for loop inside that. And this loop is going to happen 13 times because we've got 12 months, which are rows, and then we've got the company name. So we have 13 rows in total, and we want all of them. So uh, let's just go back here. And yeah, so this is going to loop 13 times. And what we're going to do here is we are going to build up that multidimensional array. So company earnings, and then... Uh, which company this is going to be zero one or two and then right here is going to be row minus one so um, you'll notice this for loop right here is starting from one and it's going until it's less than or equal to 13 so this is going one to 13 but because arrays are zero index we um, you know we this is going to be zero to 12 so just put row minus one right there and that's set to um, object worksheet and then accessing this method of it which is get cell by column and row okay this is a special function from uh, PHP Excel and this function takes two arguments and they're both integers so column is going to be 0 1 2 here well you know after it loops it's going to be 0 then it's going to be 1 then 2 and the rows is going to be, you know, all of the rows. So if we go to the um, the Excel file right here, you know, I was having trouble with this in the beginning because um, I thought that you were supposed to put the column name here. So I was putting like um, I was putting, let's see, A like this, but that's not how it works. Um, even though the column name is A here, um, because A is the first one then you should put a zero here so we'll just undo that change and call them so both of these take numbers this is going to be zero one two and this one is going to be zero all the way all the way to thirteen you know depending on on the loops iteration and um... and then we get the value of that cell so the value is you know just this string that's being displayed right there and what we do after that is we pass our multi-dimensional array to this um, to PHP's JSON encode function, and what that's going to do is it's going to give us um, a well-formed JSON string, and then we're we're echoing that out, okay? So that our so any pages you know requesting it can can fetch it. So yeah, if we go over to the um, browser here, we'll see our um, the results of that uh, JSON encode function. And the last thing we should do is we should test this. So um, if we go over to our index here, and we've included our main.js file. So if we go into that right now, okay, we have a simple um, AJAX call right here. So uh, this is a jQuery syntax. And um, the URL is earnings.php. Cache is false, so we get um, the newest results each time and the type is JSON okay um, and then we have a um, we're binding on a success callback function right here so if it's successful and you know if it can find this file and it got the data back okay then we're running this callback function and the callback function takes the data and then we are just going to um, console log that data so if we go over to the browser here and to our 
um, index.html here, okay? And then we right click to inspect and go to console, and then we'll see our data right there. So our data is an array of three elements, and if we open that up, we see each of the elements here, each of those array has has um, 13 elements, which is what we expected. And if we open that up, we see Coke's earnings and PG earnings and so on. So in the next um, part of this tutorial, we're going to use this data to create um, these uh, vertical charts. Thanks for listening.